taking a trip back in the Wayback Machine. It's 1999, and the only way to get online for me was a web TV device. You hooked it up to your TV and your phone line. You got a keyboard and you got a remote control. But that wasn't very satisfactory, and I had my first PC. Let's check out 20 years later. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check out those PCs that I discovered when I was cleaning my basement. This should be interesting. Okay, here we go. Well, there's a beep. F2 to continue. Okay. Okay, well, we're at the impasse here. I need a PS2 adapter for the keyboard and or mouse. Completely forgot about Windows 98's idiosyncrasy, like having a PS2 attached. And I, for the people who don't know what the heck I'm talking about, I'll show you in just a moment, but <clears throat> back in the day, there was no USB uh, keyboards or mice. Try this one more time. Okay, well. Same thing was a total wash that Windows 98 computer. I don't think I even, I mean, I kept an adapter, but it didn't do anything. So let's try my second computer, the Windows XP. Okay, so this had the new Pentium processor in it, it had a AGP video bus I could live with this computer. It just wasn't very powerful. And if we had speakers hooked up, you'd hear the uh, Windows XP jingle. Well, the Windows XP computer worked, uh, but uh, who wants to use it anyway? So on to what originally was Windows XP Media Center Edition. I think there's got Windows 7 on it. Let's check it out. Alright, let's check this out. Power. All right. Yep. Windows 7. Well. Welcome. But 
Thanks for joining me again. It was very interesting to see if whether these PCs would boot up again. I can see why I retired them. They weren't very good, but it's all we had at the time. Thanks again for joining me. Please like and subscribe.